you guys find a way to get a goal right at the end of, the, of that second period to get out of there where I would think it's, you didn't think you played your best. It's your key part of the game. Our, our power play sucked, and then we turn it over to uh, let them gain momentum. Um, not getting hurt then again was important. P I, when you get the 3-1 goal, PLD, the, P Pierre Luke's goal, I mean, just taking it around the net like a, a power forward. And it's good forechecking by that, the whole group, the whole line. Um, kept grinding, and then he finds a way to score. Yeah, it, it's obviously a big goal. Is this one of those games for him where you can use it as an example and say to him, look, this, when you play like this, you, you know, you can take over games. Just, again, a tangible example that you can review with him and, and prove to him, I guess for lack of a better word. Well, I, I think his last couple, I think he has been much more competitive uh, in wanting to make a difference in the game. I think he's been inconsistent with that this year. I think the last two games, uh, and even the one before the break, uh, uh, I thought I, it just his the edge that he's bringing and just competing, I, I think, has improved. John, to get three or four on this road trip to start this portion of the of the season, how important is that for setting the tone for the rest of the well, way? Well, three three out of four on the road against teams that already played, which I don't understand why why that happens. Uh, um, yeah, you, you, we, we should feel good about ourselves. But Dave, we're uh, we're just going to take it one game at a time. They have a day off tomorrow, uh, and we'll just get ready to play our next game. As I said, it's a, a very important time of the year to stay flatlined, uh, whether you win or lose, and just go about your business. So uh, we'll get ready to play Florida. Do you feel like your, your group was able to keep its composure during those crazy last yeah. five minutes? Yeah, yeah. The, the guys have, uh, uh, for the most uh, most of this year, even when even when times were going south on us a little bit at the beginning of the year, I don't think we've lost our composure or our, or our confidence about trying to compete. Uh, yeah, so I, I, I think it's uh, uh, we, we play in a lot of one goal games. Uh, we're in a lot of situations like that, and I think we feel pretty good about playing in it. Uh, along those lines, uh, one of the guys you keep putting out there is Nyquist, obviously. He's got like four or five empty net goals this year. Just how big is that ability to, to put the puck in an empty net? I, mean, I know it seems simple, but that ended up being your winning goal. Well, and he's a, and he's a good player in tight, uh, holding on to pucks. He doesn't panic with the puck. Uh, I, actually, I thought he fought the puck tonight for most of the game, uh, but I'm still going to go with him there. Uh, I trust him in what he'll do on the wall, uh, and he understands situational play as far as uh, uh, where to be about in your positioning. So, he, he, as I said, when we, when we got him, when you almost sign him, it's, it's a tremendous signing for our team in a lot of different ways. Veteran guy, right? Veteran guy, and I can use him in so many different situations. You played against maybe the, the best puck mover goalie in the league in Price, and how he can sometimes just take away a four check. How is your guy coming along with that, Elvis? Have you, have you seen an improvement with him trying to move the puck to your defenseman? And yeah, I don't know. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not even going to answer the question because I want him to stop the pucks. I'm not too concerned about that part of the game. I want him. Uh, just to take each thing uh, in order. Uh, he likes to play the puck. We're not going to take that away from him. Uh, but I'm not going to analyze him, analyze him on that. I just want him to stop the puck and, uh, uh, and just keep going about his business. Four teams down. Yeah, I, I mean, we enjoy playing together. I think uh, we all kind of bring a little bit of something different. Uh, obviously, Borky's the shooter, and, and Luke can kind of do it all. And, and you just try to, you know, get my, my abilities in there and, and mix it up and, Say, what and do you do? get. Yeah, I do everything. <laughs> um, no, but it's 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 one of those things where yeah, you just you start to understand each other, and and uh, those guys are feeling it right now. It's great to see. And uh, Luke was was a beast tonight. I mean, that's that's what we expect out of him. So the standard's now set. So uh, no more no more. Every every game is going to be that that standard. But uh, that's what he can bring, you know. That's that's why he is so good and, and counted on so much on this team, and uh, he, he brought it tonight. Nick, in the past 24 games, you've had tw 22 games where you've gotten at least a point. 17 of those are wins. It feels like you guys get a point every single time you go out on the ice now. It's good. so different than where we were yeah. in Pittsburgh that one time. How much more confidence do you guys have now? Well, I think winning breeds confidence. You know, I, I think when you're when you're a team that that is finding ways to win or at least be in the, uh, you know feeling positive about your game, it's amazing what that does for you. You don't feel like you're carrying a piano on your back, and 
the confidence comes with that. Whether it's you know even this goal scoring, it's just it's amazing what it does for guys. When your team's putting putting pucks in the net, it, you just play you play bigger, you play faster, and uh, it's worked for us. But but there's a recipe behind it. There's a reason why we're having success, and uh, and the hard work that's gone into it, the, the team commitment, the the mindset of of you know being as responsible defensively as we are offensively, and um, it's been a recipe that's really worked, and, and every guy's bought in. Elvis had a couple get by him there at the end, but I mean he was he's oh, he pretty was great. big. He was big for you. He made some on. huge saves early on, especially in that second period when we kind of, you know, we kind of sat back a little bit. He he was right there to make those saves, and a uh, big reason why we got the win tonight. How good did it feel to come out of the weekend with three out of four points, Huge. especially considering where you were at one yeah. point yesterday? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, absolutely. I, that was the that was the focus. Try to try to make sure we got out uh, two wins and, and we got three out of four, and uh, you take it and you move forward. I mean, we we got to continue to try to climb here. This this league is uh, it's going to be tight right up to the end. You can just tell. So we're we're a team that's not satisfied, and never will be, and and we know we got a lot more work to do.